Welcome to the Daily Brew. We are in the LA Valley with my brother, friend, Dr. Chris, the greatest podiatrist that I know. Welcome, <laughs> Dr. Chris. Thank you, Jack. So Dr. Chris treats all kinds of the things, but he also created an innovative product called Vitastin. Mm -hmm. And I wanted him to tell everybody about that, talk about how he's trying to affect the world. This product was made to target underserved markets like the emerging markets of Africa and India and everywhere else. Uh, but Dr. Chris has an interesting past, uh, an interesting past and past, uh, so I wanted him to explain that. Oh, thank you, Jack. Well, um, as Jack said, I'm originally a podiatrist and I'm an entrepreneur, nerdy scientist and an inventor. So about 10 years ago, I had a good fortune to meet somebody who was trying to develop, to develop a topical antibiotic that could prevent diabetic wounds and treat things like as simple as acne and also prevent you know, death from flesh-eating bacteria. So I helped him develop the, wound, the medication, tested it on some of our patients and um, the results that I was getting back were literally miraculous. Um, some of the before and after pictures were so shockingly great. I was accused of photoshopping, but now it's the norm that um, I'm just used to these results. Um, the medication is now called Vitastem. It's available online, it's available on Amazon, and we're trying to get it out into the emerging market through Jack. We've just got a pretty large order, a significant order from Nigeria. We're gonna get it in to go to Haiti, India. Places in the world where it really need a medication that is a first line drug that can help save lives from something like a, a mosquito bite that could become, you know, a flesh eating wound, or flesh eating wounds that will result in death hmm. to just acne or beautiful, just make somebody a little bit feel a little bit better about themselves. So that's basically what I'm doing. So what happened to this day. guy? Motorcycle burn on the on the um uh, uh, the, the exhaust of his motorbike. Oh uh, man. Yeah. This is a second degree burn, completely burn off all his skin and went from that to that in five weeks. This guy, he'd had eczema for you. 10, 10, 15 years, nothing worked. So we just healed it in 21 days. Wow. This one, psoriasis in one week, that's unheard of. One week? Yeah, this guy's a wrestler, you'll appreciate this guy. Kid is a little wrestler and he kept on getting, you know, infections. Nothing worked. This one is one of my first cases. 93 year old woman, she was a victim of um, elderly abuse. So this was a cigarette burn by her daughter. What? Yeah, so when I met her, she's 93, this is all red, swollen, they're about to hack off her leg. So this went from this to this in 32 days. Oh. Yeah, this is why I was accused of Photoshop, Photoshop in that one. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's Like so what is, like give us some examples of some of the things you see and then, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, how uh, your product works so well. Sure, so basically one of the major problems why um, any diabetic is at risk for an amputation is because they don't have good circulation and also they don't have good um, the nervous system in the feet. What that does is when the blood sugar goes high it kills off both the nerves and then it also makes the um, blood vessels become constricted like this. So a diabetic could um, stub his foot or her foot against the door or step on a rusty old nail or anything like that. Mm. They can't even feel it. Uh. And they go around for days with this nail literally in their foot. And of course, by the time they find out they've got a nail sticking in their foot, infection is set in. One of the major ways to get rid of infection is you've got to have good blood circulation down there. And because they don't have good blood circulation down there, it, 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 basically the foot starts to rot, even from a little toe. Oof. And it will, um, President Bush is in hospital right now because he's got septicemia, because it started off as an infection in his legs and mm. it's gone to his bloodstream. Oh. And he might not make it. So that's why somebody usually has to get their legs cut off because you've got an infection that's going into your blood and it's coming up to your heart. And mm. it's gonna go and it's just gonna basically kill you. So you have to chop off the leg to just get rid of that infection. Oh. So unfortunately, that's why a lot of diabetics end up with um, um, an amputation because they've got an infection that doesn't heal. My medicine, it stops all of that. So it not only does it prevent the infection from getting really bad to the point where you have to literally hack off somebody's leg, even if somebody does have a, a wound, it will heal it, and it heals it faster than anything on the market. I mean, I've been accused of, back in the day, when I started this, board, back in 2010, 2011, people were accusing me of photoshopping pictures because they saw wounds healing that had never been done before, you know? So, this medication is perfect for the emerging markets like Africa and Asia, where there's poor health, and poor access to health, because people could treat, it's a frontline drug, does mm, that make sense? Yeah. People could treat an infection, bam, immediately it starts. So it prevents it from getting worse 
and them going to a hospital, which which may result in death. Mm. And it's relatively inexpensive to make. People can have it in their home. It, it I mean, it's so stable. We've had it in out in, in um, India at at degrees at temperatures of around 125 degrees. Four years later, it still works fine. Wow! So you don't even need to refrigerate it. Unbelievable! If you get the hands into the medic, med if you get this hand, the medication in the hands of the right people, it will completely change the world. I know that. Mm. So I know that for a fact. We just got to get it out there. We just got to get it out there. Simple as that. It's big. So Dr. Chris was telling me crazy stories. As you've probably seen if you're watching this, some of the pictures, mm -hmm. uh, the before and after shots. Uh, he's doing amazing work. He created it himself. Uh, came from humble beginnings. Really? Spent a part of his life in Nigeria. No one's ever gave him anything. And he's truly living a life to find his purpose. And that's what this Daily Brew is about. To find your purpose, to find your purpose, to find your purpose. Dr. Chris, I always tell him to work hard, yeah. but love harder. Holla. <laughs>